Hello and welcome to this video where we're going to run through how to post to your social media accounts from any website form. This will be a no code tutorial and two of the primary tools that we use to enable this workflow are Make and Airshare. First let's take a look at the overall flow of how this social media posting app will work. There's going to be an entry form on your website. For the purposes of this video we're using a WordPress website with the contact form 7 form. But really, you can use any website that can send data to a webhook. The next step is Make. And Make is going to receive the data from the form via the Make webhook. And then it's going to make an API call to Airshare, which is going to post that data to the social networks. And then in this video, we'll ensure that the data goes live on four different social networks, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. The first step is to set up an Airshare account. You can go to airshare.com, sign up, and go to the social accounts section of the app and connect all the social media accounts that you want to post to. In this video, we're using Facebook, Instagram, LinkedIn, and Twitter. Then, in our WordPress site, we installed two plugins. One is called Contact Form 7, a free plugin, and the other is Contact Form 7, Redirections, Integrations, and Database. And this is made by Make in order to be able to send the form data from the Contact Form 7 form to the Make webhook. In Contact Form 7, the way that you create a form is you lay out all of the elements of the form. So here we can see that in the form body, we have a text area which is going to be the body of the post. We have four checkboxes, one for each of the social media destinations that we can select from. And we're going to let the user send an image by entering an image URL. On the last tab of the contact form plugin, we see the Make Integromat tab, which is from the second plugin that we installed. And what we do is we activate it and we enter the webhook URL of where to send the form data. In the next step of this video, we will show you where to get this webhook URL from the Make system. Okay, let's take a quick look at our completed form and what it looks like on our website. We can see the text body, the checkboxes for the social media destinations, the image URL field, and the submit button, which will send this data to the webhook. Now we're gonna to move to the Make system and create a new scenario. The first step in the scenario is gonna be the contact form seven step. This step is called watch new form submission, which ensures that when new data is submitted by the form and is sent to the webhook, the data will be processed using this scenario. Once you add a webhook, the webhook URL is shown to you and you can copy that to the clipboard. This is the URL that you would want to use in the Contact Form 7 plugin on your WordPress site. The next step of this scenario is an HTTP API call, and we're going to select Make a Request. We're going to fill in these fields with the information from the Airshare system. So the URL is the slash API slash post endpoint. The method is post. We're going to use one header which is an authorization, which is the API key that you get from the Airshare system. You can find your API key or profile key on your Airshare dashboard at airshare.com. The body type is raw, the content type is JSON, and the request content is formatted as per the Airshare docs. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna send in the information from that form to this post endpoint. The JSON that we're gonna send is gonna have three fields, post, platforms, and media URLs. You can see how we formatted it here in order to take the data from that contact form seven submission and send it to this Airshare endpoint. Okay, let's test it out and send a real post. We'll grab an image from Unsplash and paste in the URL into the image URL field We'll enter a body and let's select all of the social networks to send this post to. Now back in make, we can go to the webhook section and see 
what information did this form send to the make system and here we can see the body is formatted in such a way that it will work great with the airshare post endpoint in the scenario section we're going to click the run once button and then we'll select process existing to take the data that's waiting for us from that first webhook call and run it through the rest of this workflow at this point we can switch over to the airshare dashboard and take a look at the post history screen. We can see the success response and we could even see the JSON request and the JSON response of how the API processed this post. There are little icons at the bottom of each post, which is a shortcut to the live posts on each of the social networks. So why don't we just take a second and click through each of them to make sure that they post it properly on each of the social networks. Facebook looks good. Instagram looks good. Let's look at LinkedIn. There it is. And finally, Twitter. Great. We hope you enjoy this no code tutorial, which explains how to post to social media from any website form. To learn more about Airshare and how you can set this up to service all of the users of your platform, as well as other social media management workflows like getting historical posts, managing comments, scheduling posts, and getting data and analytics, check out airshare.com. Thank you.